Hey there, Postal here. So today we are looking at the P1056 uh, Tier 8 British Heavy Fighter. Um, something I was probably the least excited about on this particular line, but let's see how that uh, perception has completely changed for me today. Alright, so a couple things on to why um, the P-1056 is, is completely taken me by surprise and, and almost instantly turned into um, a, a f almost a favorite plane of mine. I don't know if that's um, too much hyperbole or what, but I've, I've had a handful of games and they've all been absolutely awesome, and you're going to see the last game I just had in it. Um, so disclaimer about it first and foremost. Obviously I've put in a pilot that has a decent amount of experience. I think it's probably my um, the same pilot I've had from the Hornet, uh, Mosquito and the Hornet. Um, and first and foremost, the only upgrades, um, well I say the only, uh, before I even played it I saved up for the 45,000 free XP to just get the top engine on this particular plane there's a huge difference between the bottom engine and the top engine I mean 2000 thrust I mean it, it's 50 percent extra right and to me it's slow enough even with the top engine um, I figured I definitely want to at least have that it was really slow or would have been really slow without the top engine so I saved up that free XP and used it on this um, I didn't need the free XP for the 1,000 pound bombs because you can get those with the um, Hornet beforehand. Um, I didn't free XP the rockets. I'm kind of surprised these rockets didn't um, come earlier on the line or come on with some of the multi-rolls that are out, but they didn't. Um, so I had to earn those, but I didn't have them the first battle I had. The Hispanos here, you do get earlier in the game. Uh, on the attacker, so I was lucky enough uh, to go down the Spitfire line and earn these particular guns on the attacker, and so they were ready to go. I have, you've got six 20 mil Hispanos, 130 damage per second each. You're doing 780 damage per second if all six are hitting. Um, four of them are centralized, two of them are on the wing. Now eventually um, I'll see if the 40 mils are you know, worth it. Obviously they've got a lot more damage per second, but they do have a shorter range. Um, but I mean, I'm not necessarily needing those 40 mils to have this plane be enjoyable. It's an absolute blast. I've set it up for, for speed. We'll go over that in a, in a, full, um, um, a full review video. But I just had to get this video out. This plane, it doesn't look as ugly as I... I mean, it looks ugly from the front, no offense to the, the snout here, but you know, the rest of it, it looks pretty sleek, honestly. Um, it's just an absolute joy to play and um, completely took me by surprise when I'm coming down this particular line to get to the Javelin. Um, I cannot wait. <laughs> I cannot wait to continue to play this particular plane and I'm continuing down the line. This is already a keeper in my book and I'm excited about it. So enough of my excitement. Let's go ahead and hop into uh, the game and take a look at the most recent game I just had in this particular plane. Okay, so we are looking at the P-1056. Um, this was, of, of all the planes on this particular line, this is probably the one I was least looking forward to. I've heard good things about the Mosquito. The Hornet seemed like it'd be good. Um, the 228 after this seems like it's got a good boost in speed. And then the Javelin just looks like an all around good plane. This one seemed kind of like an odd duck. Um, or maybe an odd pick. Uh, but that being said, I did um, free XP to the top um, engine. It's like 45,000 to get those two engines, um, but it's been totally worth it. Dropping a couple bombs here. And so this particular battle, I just wanted to get the comm center. 
get that flipped, figure to drop the bombs and be done with it. And maybe get a couple um, fighter kills and then continue on from here. What's really awesome about this plane is well, right now it has six 20 mil Hispanos and that's not even the upgraded guns, right? But these just melt everything. Think about that. Six of them. So you're used to four on like a Tempest or Spitfire. Um, this has even more and it really truly honestly melts the planes. We're dropping the, all my rockets right here. I know that we've got some defense aircraft, but I also see there's these bombers straight up, and I want to get those guys. So, using all my boost, I'm going just straight up. I see an opportunity to take out a defense aircraft, get him knocked, and then go straight for this bomber. And obviously with two heavy fighters hitting the bomber, it's really going to melt it quickly. But even on my own, I would have felt comfortable getting this guy um, taken care of. We've got another bomber coming in right now. Let's go ahead and get him knocked out. And you can see here that I mean, this plane, it's, it's just really good at taking down those high hit point um, enemies. And so right now we're just kind of looking around and saying, well, who's close enough? Well, let's head on down and get a ground pounder. So one thing that is disappointing about this plane is its airspeed. Even with the top engine, um, I don't feel like I'm ever going like a million miles an hour. Um, I'm going at an okay pace, but I can't outpace anybody, right? With this plane, it's really important that you kill the planes that can kill you, if that makes sense. Um, right now I'm just going for, you know, ground pounders and bombers and every once in a while getting a plane that's not paying attention. But that's key to this plane. Attacking those planes that aren't paying attention. Because once they start paying attention, they're going to outmaneuver you, they're going to outspeed you, they're going to outdo everything. Um, so I, I don't waste any time turning with that guy. Knock this guy out, go right on to the next one. Six Hispanos, melt, melt melt and let's uh, move on to the comm center shall we I was afraid we were gonna have that multi roll coming up behind us so I wanted to keep my speed but even like just maintaining speed is only 400 miles an hour which is kind of mediocre for this tier especially for jet Ooh, watch out for my own bombs all right so we see this 109 and we want to focus him down hits on him. Nope, don't even waste turning too much. I'm going to boost on through here. I'm going to wait till he's a decent amount away, or at least we're paying attention to the map. We know that he's going the other direction. And now we're turning around. They're not paying attention, so I really want to flip this. Let's get some rockets sent off. Just a couple things here and there, a couple things here and there. We should be able to get it flipped pretty quickly. And perfect. So... It's been taken care of. The 109G wasn't paying attention. I think I had one rocket left. I just uh, restocking it. Unfortunately, they got our comm center, uh, but we still have the military base. And it's a very, very close game. We're actually losing, but that military base is key, I feel, at this point. So I'm heading over here to take care of some bombers. Again, this plane is great at taking care of bombers. Uh, but again, we're going at a pretty mediocre pace. I mean, even with boost, you know, we're not even at 400, so... Uh, this guy I was paying attention to the map, see which direction people were going in. Um, I want to make sure I'm as efficient with my energy as possible, just because the speed is not something that this plane is going to be able to survive with. Um, it's enough to get by. But this is all about its guns, right? I knew the bomber was going to be popping back up. I wanted to head in his general direction. And just melt, melt, melt. Excellent. Uh, so now all that's over here is this multi roll. We got some inbound planes as well, ground pounders. But I 
knew if I was on target there, that that uh, multi roll was not going to survive very long. I'm in a kind of a funky angle. Don't want to kill myself. I'm not really used to this plane yet. This is only the third battle I've been in it, and um, I definitely didn't want to like hit the ground. So try to get this P51, and when those Hispanos hit, man, they hit. But he's probably wondering what that flip just happened. So we got this 109Z. See if I can get him. Trying, but again, it's more important that I don't crash, and I want to keep what little energy I have. Excellent. Got that ground pounder. 109Z can't uh, make a U-turn very quickly, so I wasn't worried about him coming up behind us. And we got this ground pounder, and it looks like we must have weakened him so much that um, our defense aircraft killed him, or that light fighter there. Alright, so I see the bombers are coming in here. I want to retain our um, comm center, so I'm heading over in this general direction. We've got a bomber on top of us, and again, I just know that I'm going to be able to melt this bomber down. And not a lot of planes in this game can melt a bomber this quickly, not tier 8 anyway. I feel like I'm in an HG3 as far as armament is concerned. It's, I mean, it's that quick. So unfortunately they've gotten the comm center, uh, me killing that bomber didn't really help, uh, but I'm watching the time, I'm slowing down actually, I got two or three seconds until um, it's locked, so I dropped my bombs, so by the time they land it'll already be locked, um, I didn't have defense aircraft coming up after me, and so it was easy to drop those bombs, I want to get rid of this bomber, We've got the squall line in now, so I don't want to have to worry about him coming back and flipping anything that I don't want flipped, which is everything. Uh, luckily we've gotten the comm center on the far side, uh, but let's go ahead and completely lock up this game. I believe that F2G, or yeah it was an F2G, um, was going to be trying to come up and get me. It kind of um, went off target so to speak and I was able to get him as he had lost all his energy. He got this uh, Mustang again and was able to get a couple hits and it looks like he was knocked out by that yak. I uh, want to hang on to the mil military base so I'm coming in here getting these ground pounders. We've got three sectors and we're getting close to the end so I wasn't too worried about um, getting the comm center as much as I'm worried, if I'm worried at all, about hanging on to this military base. It's three to one. Um, game's basically over at this point. It's probably been over for the last minute or so. Um, but this whole game was just a very smooth, uh, easy ride, right? Uh, nothing um, was taken in, out uh, on me. I you know, wasn't um, struggling at any point, and I think it has a lot to do with the guns and how hard they hit and how quickly they melt. Here's my actual after game reaction. Oh my goodness, so I absolutely love this particular plane. This is my third game in it and they've all been awesome. Maybe not this awesome, but I can't believe I'm as excited about this pig nosed face thing as I actually am. Um, we got a Marseille out of this, a bunch of nifty badges, Maguire's, this was like easy game, honestly. I had so much fun. Um, I cannot wait to play this. I can't even believe I'm saying that. This ridiculous looking plane is awesome. Um, I'm having an absolute blast on it and I'm going to have more of a blast on it, with it, around it. Yes. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will do a review of this plane at a future time, but I'm going to go play this again. Too much fun.